Welcome to Resident Evil Revelations 2. After finishing The Evil Within 2, I felt like I still had a craving for like B-movie kind of horror action. And I saw that this was in the Halloween Steam sale. It was pretty dang cheap and it looked like a lot of fun. So I know almost nothing about the Resident Evil franchise, by the way, just like little random bits and pieces, know nothing about the story, who cares? The story's terrible from what I've seen. Um, but the one thing I do know is that this particular game is a bit of an experiment in the Resident Evil franchise. As far as I know, it's the only game in the series that's episodic. So as far as I know, this has been their one and only attempt at episodic Resident Evil. There's four episodes, as you can see. Let's start on episode one, on normal difficulty. I'm gonna override my other save, I just played it for a little bit just to get used to the controls and stuff. Penal colony. I skipped the cutscenes first time I played. I'm assuming there's gonna be like 20, 30 million years of cutscenes at the beginning, so I'll see you on the other side. Bioterror. The world lives with it. You live with it. Viruses are stolen, re-engineered, misused with tragic results. And who are you supposed to trust? Politicians who sell their souls for a few votes? CEOs who betray consumers for a quick buck? Count on us instead. We're above the politics, always watching. Always ready to face the threat head on. We are the unflinching mop that sops up the evils of bioterrorism and chemical warfare. They call us Terra Save. Because tear doesn't have to end with a wrist. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hey guys. I'd feel. Oh, hi, Claire. Hey. Hey, Claire. Moira. Welcome to the club. Uh, reporting for duty, Ms. Redfield. When do the hazing start? <sighs> Cut it out. We've been friends for how long? Long enough that I'm allowed to give you shit. Psst. Claire, could you, uh... What's up, Neil? Something's going down in Washington. Did you hear anything? What, the new virus? Come on. You know Tricella's history, right? Hello? Hey, that Barry Burton's girl? Yep, Moira started today. But you've got to be careful if you're going to mention her, her. And her dad. Oh yeah, emotional minefield. <laughs> okay. You did your homework. What other horrible invasions of privacy have you gotten there? Hey, I got to look out for Terra Safe. We have our enemies. Anyway, good luck breaking her in. <sighs> She's not a horse. Bye. Uh-oh. What'd he do this time? <sighs> Fucking Barry. Every time I ask him anything, he pushes back. I wouldn't even be here if I listened
Why did it open? I didn't do anything. That cutscene actually wasn't super long. Where have I been taken? I'm surprised. So beginning section is just kind of a tutorial thing. So I'm just gonna kind of run through it. Is that Moira? Oh my god, Clara! Don't worry. I'm gonna get you out of there right now. Moira, are you okay? Did they hurt you? Claire, all I remember is hey, hey, take it. I mean, what in a Stop moist talking. barrel of fuck mm -hmm. is Moist barrel of fucks. <laughs> That's a classic right there. Oh, Claire, I just wanna go home. It's okay. We're gonna get out of here. None of this makes any sense. What did we do? I wish I could tell you. This is so messed up. What do you think this place was? A Resident Evil set. Did you hear that? Is there someone else in here? Yep, so here's where we get a knife and a flashlight. This could come in handy. Guess I'm on light duty. Good old knife. I think there's a way through on the other side of the wall. Let's read the deep lore. Rules for monitoring test subjects. Those participating in the experiments must observe the following rules. Subject, uh, subjects must be monitored 24 hours a day. Monitor the sensor for any changes. Log its status every 10 minutes. Dispose of any subject showing signs of abnormality immediately. I think... Judging by all the blood, and the spikes, and the fact that whatever's under that thing over there looks like it's like kind of breathing slowly, I'd say they're doing bad things. I think we can squeeze under this. Give me a hand, Moira. Go! Okay. Careful. Stand back. Okay, there's a jump scare incoming. Our first enemy. Test subject was looked a little abnormal. What the fuck? That was 
close. You know what's really strange is how come you can only push this thing directly forwards? Why not just push this side over to the wall and then be done with it? Let's see how far we can go. Ah, it's the end of it. Dang. Holy shit, it's gonna kill her! Come on, hurry! Don't worry, she's dead, it doesn't matter. Terra save. Why would anyone do this? I can hear the wind out there. This must be the way out. But we need to find a way through. Don't worry, we're gonna get our first gun pretty soon. What kind of whack job? Will... Ugh, this is not okay. Here. Oh, steady. Uh, okay. Almost got it. No! over there. Ugh, this place reeks! I noticed when I played this before, there's that really odd thing there, right? It's a secret item. I'll get it later. Shit! What's up? The key's gone. Do you, uh, are you gonna use that? It's more reliable than any person. If you say so. The key must have shook loose when the body fell. It could be anywhere. It's too dark to see. Shine the light around. So this is when we get introduced to the fact that we can play as multiple characters. So we can switch between them pretty much at will. Except when it forces you to play a character for the tutorial, I guess. It's out of reach. Let me try shooting it down. Okay, maybe we should just run. Run, Moira. run! I didn't actually try to stay down here before, but yeah, it looks like there's an awful lot of them. Uh... You okay, Moira? I don't think they're aggroed on him. Oh god, that face is horrifying.
All right, let me see if there's secrets down here. Locked from the other side. Ah, rounds. Good. Now, I know there's a mechanic. I don't think they've introduced it yet. No, but there's a mechanic when you play as Moira where you can, like, shine a light at shelves and find hidden items. I suppose I should heal myself, too. You do this alone. Now everything's gonna come out of the woodworks and lunge at us. Now that we have a weapon. So yeah, there's this evade thing. I've never actually used it during combat yet, though, when I played before, so we'll see how it works. Christ. This one's hardier than the rest. Whoa! Didn't know they could do that either. I'm guessing that's what evades for. Probably could have dodged it like this. I think now, yeah, now's our opportunity to get this little secret. Boop. Hmm. It didn't pop up with a, like, you got this thing. I'm guessing that's because I got it when I played before. I guess when I started a new game in this campaign, it doesn't actually rewrite the medals and stuff you get. Just your progress through the story. But yeah, normally that shows... Uh, is that under... No, it's not here. I have no idea where it would be displayed. I don't remember what it was even called, but I think there's eight of them in this chapter. Shotgun! You need a gun too, Moira. No, I really, really don't. Sorry, I don't do firearms. Not after what happened. Shit, I'm sorry. I forgot. Maybe we can find you something else. No, I'll just be on flashlight duty or something. It's fine. I think this is where we get introduced to the secret items? Yes. I think there's something shiny there, but I can't make it out. Let me hit it with a flat knife. Blunt weapon. I can do blunt weapons. Topaz. 
I just got some to topaz. <laughs> I have no idea what that's for. Left mouse to use Moira's crowbar as a melee attack. She can stun certain enemies by hitting them from behind. Also deliver a follow-up to downed enemies with left click. So that would be good for after I get them on the ground. So playing as Claire, I suppose I could shoot them in the head once and then kick them to the ground. And then it'd probably be better to use Moira's crowbar. I'm guessing it would finish them off in one hit rather than stabbing them a bunch of times with a knife. I'm guessing? I haven't actually tried it yet. I played a little bit further than this, I think. Just a little bit further. Yeah, it's such a silly mechanic that you can find hidden items, but I love it. Now one thing to keep in mind, though, is I picked him up as Claire, so Claire has the ammo. Or, sorry, uh, Moira has the ammo, not Claire, and we want Claire to have it. Um, duh, I forgot how to open up the inventory. Ah, there it is, it's the status screen button, T. So yeah, Moira's got the handgun ammo. Let's switch that over. Claire? You saw that, right? Yeah, I saw... something. Okay, this is as far as I've been. I think I, yeah, I stopped playing in the last room. <laughs> These doors are so gonna all open at some point. Poetry. Are you afraid? You can tell me. Talk to me. What are you talking about? Those bracelets change color in response to fear. And who exactly are you? So much suffering. You don't even know what to be afraid of yet. Is she talking to us or at us? She wants our Garmin Bosia. <laughs> what are these for? <laughs> God, the Resident Evil games are so silly. Control room key. Ooh, that door looks like it's about to come down. This looks like a way out. <laughs> Your fucking gears. What the hell is this? My god, they really have put us in a nightmare to feed off our fear or something. We're obviously test subjects. Lore. Excerpt from Kafka's In the Penal Colony. 
The traveler asked he doesn't know his own sentence. The officer replied, it would be useless to give him that information. He experiences it on his own body. They were kidding about it being an excerpt. That's the entire book. It's like a tweet. Oh, that looks comfy. Yeah, let's take one home. Look at this machine. There's something stuck in it. It's not working. Need power. The power must be off. Maybe there's a switch? I just love how gamey the Resident Evil games are. They're so ridiculous. They're so hilarious. Tourniquet. Bandage that stops bleeding can be used even when held by your partner. Huh. Interesting. Heal your wounds can also heal your partner if they're close by. So I wonder why I'd want to use the tourniquet over the green herb. Also, is this still a thing that you can combine herbs to make more powerful healing items? I remember that was a thing. Oh, god, what is this? Oh, I can change which one. The one, two, three, four keys match with weapons. Okay. Is this crafting? Customization gear kit. Can you craft? You can upgrade and exchange your weapons at the workbench. Oh my god. This is the evil within two. So I can augment weapons or swap out weapons you're carrying with ones you have stored. Okay. Damage level one. Whew, look at that firepower. 100 for the handgun and 630 for the shotgun. Limit capacity but lots of firepower. Spreads out its pellets over a wide range. Good in close quarters. So, oh, so it's a part specifically for damage, huh? How does this work? Does it just have three slots? Improve weapon firepower. And we can take it out if we want, I'm assuming. Or not. Huh, maybe it's on there for good. That's fine. Ah, damage went up to 700. Nice. <laughs> Gotta keep an eye out for topazes on the ceiling. Give you a boost. See if you can climb up. Okay. Oh, I gotta do this alone. Okay. Got nothing but a crowbar. Gotta keep that in mind. What is this? Opening boxes one. Some boxes will have to be unlocked. Move the cursor to find the unlock point. The position of the unlock points can be determined from the color of the cursor and the controller's vibration. Well, I'm not using a controller, so... <laughs> and for the unlock points will be given on the first box only. Well, I see the hint, obviously. But... It sounds like it's the color. I mean, sorry, not just the color, but also the sound. Sometimes there are multiple unlock points. Find them all to unlock the box. Oh. A 
Oh, you gotta do the whole thing again? Damn. Hold more rounds? I can't do this alone. Claire, this way. Maybe once we're outside, we can find someone to help us. Can this be moved? Kind of looks like maybe, but can't seem to move it. It's pretty cool, the reactions. Like, if you aim... I think if you aim at her, she moves. Yeah, she's like, what the hell are you doing? And if you shoot near her, she covers her ears because it's so loud. Or she did. Uh, I guess she's desensitized. <laughs> Important things in there. Damn, guess I need a key. I just want to get out of here. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. said that came off when I shot it. Can you keep aiming that flashlight, please? Prisoner's letter, written in Russian. Dear Mama, I... I don't know if you'll ever get to read this, but I need you. They call us experiments. They torture us every day. Every day. What did I do to deserve this? Why is this happening? It hurts so bad every day. I'm scared of what will happen next. Mama, please, please help. Deep lore. It's not an instant kill with the crowbar. Let's try the shotgun. Okay, stop trying to conserve ammo so much. It's a shame they don't drop any goo like in the Evil Within, though. Okay, Moira, please, leave your light on. She moved out of the way at first. Now Claire's desensitized.
caution for experiment handling, the sensors that the experiments have been equipped with will measure the adrenaline and norepinephrine levels to calculate the fear the subject is experiencing. The colors will change accordingly. Green is normal, orange is anxiety, blanking red is fear, and red is mutation. If the subject's sensor should change to red, they're already in the mutation phase, shoot them immediately. Yep, so, we're experiments. Oh, there's probably a bunch of shinies over here, huh? Never mind. Excerpt from Kafka's The Trial. <laughs> another book with another tweet. The man expressed his wish to pass through the gates. The gatekeeper answered, If you truly wish to pass through, then break the rules and go, but be forewarned. I am but a lowly gatekeeper. Those beyond the gates will cause you to tremble in fear. Could use your help. Alright, see if I can get this without the hints. So wait, do you want it to be red, or...? No, right? Dang it. I don't entirely understand it, to be honest. Oh, it's random. Okay, so it changes each time. I'm guessing controller of vibration would really help with this. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> I'm not playing this game with a controller. That counts? Okay. That's a big one. Should I try stealth? There's an awful lot of them, though. Let's try. I don't know how effective stealth is. Like, is there a sneak kill? It didn't work! It's got a huge spread. Whoa. You'll start bleeding when hit by a very powerful attack. While bleeding, you'll not be able to run and you will continually take damage. Okay. Oh, and if your partner character has a tourniquet in their inventory, they will automatically use it to help you. Are you okay? No. I can't see anything. I think I got him. Nope.
Okay. Hey, what's that? Exploding bottle. Uh oh, so that's what the sub weapon is. But now since I changed the controls, it's conflicting with my sprint. Let me change that. The controls, by the way, just to show you real quick, are very strange. I'm sure they make more sense on a controller. But um, on mouse and keyboard, they're just all sorts of strange. There's like a million different controls. Most of them seem irrelevant. Like, look at this. Change sub weapon exploding. Change sub weapon firebomb. F3, F2. But then I think there's like other F3s and F2s. Raid gestures and... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, should be better now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's context sensitive. Yeah, if you're holding down the sub-weapon key like this, then you can switch between 1, 3, and 4 of the sub-weapons. Otherwise, 1, 3, and 4 switches between the normal weapons. Rusty key. Rusty key? Rusty key. Rusty key. where we're supposed to go, so let's make sure we explore everything else, including using the rusty key. Duh. Bugs! Of course there had to be bugs. Oh, right. Can't come through doors, I guess. Holy shit, those things do a lot of damage. <laughs> Whoa! Claire, you got an arm on you. Whoa! They just keep coming? Where are they coming from? Hope you can handle yourself in here, Claire. Good luck with the bugs. Partner icon. If your partner goes down while you're separated, it will result in a game over. The partner icon will be displayed while separated. The icon will flash red if your partner is low on health. The icon will also indicate if character switching is not allowed. You can give simple commands to your partner. Wait or follow. Follow me. Can't right now. Uh, Claire? No, why'd you come back down? Come on. 
I guess I better be fast because the bugs are going to keep coming and it doesn't look like Claire is going to be too smart about killing them. Continually shining the flashlight in the enemy's eyes will blind them, making them vulnerable. No. Screw you! Oh shit! Uh. How? Oh. No, go, go up. Sandwich. <laughs> oh, Barry tells everyone that story. Well, at least we've got power. That should help. Hold on, wasn't there something in here for medals? Killed ten giant whip spiders. Is that what these are? I feel like we've killed ten of them, though. But, like, I wonder if we get a medal for killing more of them. I really feel like I've killed 10. Also, do I even really care? Not really. Oh, Christ. I'm sure those are instant death. I mean, I can get through them fine, but, um, what about my partner? Wait. Oh. Okay, I guess they they're just fine. Follow me. Yeah, right. Oh, duh. Ah. I think maybe they're invulnerable or something. Christ. I forgot, did I go in here? Oh, that's where I'm supposed to go. So then What's that way? I think it's just the other entrance. Yep. Okay. Maybe we can get it to get chopped up by one of these things. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh Christ. Oh wait, they don't go through doors, do they? Nope, they don't go through doors either. it. I don't think it works! I don't think it works on ones with masks. This is one of the reasons I, um, I didn't want to play on survival difficulty instead of playing on normal. It's because I figure this, because this is so far in the Resident Evil series, I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of like unspoken rules and assumptions about how to play these games that I just don't know. Mm-hmm. 
Let's try to get this one chopped up. No, I didn't. Oh, if you sprint towards the door, apparently you go through it. Um, I think I de aggroed it. I'm pretty out of ammo. Okay. Uh, Claire? Oh, 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 oh. I think it's dead? Yeah, alright, that worked. Yeah, this seems like a lot of ammo, so... Given how low I am, it's important to conserve. Oh hey, did we we never got that gear. Oh we're, but we're now we're back here. Right, now the power's on, so we should be able to get the gear. Improving security measures. As per the director's instructions, I put the fire breathing bust in front of the exit. The flame this thing spits out are no joke. Even if several of the experiments try to break through at once are all getting fried, no question. Thou shalt not pass. So much for anyone else trying to escape. <laughs> what? Fire breathing bust in front of the exit? Is that what that thing is? I see a handle over there, probably to turn off the gas or something. to rotate the thing, right? Ah, you can move it from... Here's the handle. There. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Destroy the machine, which means I can't get that the, the secret parts that were there. Not that I knew how to get it anyway.
待て How did you get in here through the fire? Whoa, there's more. All right, let's go. Oh, we're not done yet. Place very much. Where do you think we are? Somewhere much more pleasant. With weird spikes. Said the poor lost soul as she lamented her fate. Ugh, again with these stupid bracelets. Who are you? I want answers. Overseer. You must go to the Vosik, where life begins. What do you want from us? Nice. Real nice. Alright, well I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's exactly what I wanted. It's super silly. Ridiculous, but fun Resident Evil game. Just with sort of janky controls. I mean, it definitely doesn't feel as good as The Evil Within 2, but it still feels pretty good. Just a little bit jankier. So I hope you enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.